Talk about wild. Okay, first of all, stop. Secondly, she's tired. Let her rest. That was no Aikido. That was some hardcore ass whooping. You did hit shadows with a motorcycle. That's pretty great. Also, did not know you could do that. I am so not pissing her off. I feel like she'll rip off my arm. Yeah, repressed rage will do that. She does exude that aura. Yeah, hey, whoa, maybe we can all stop, you know, judging her. Oh, stop it. This is the most exhausted I have ever gotten these past few years. Yeah, a small incline will do that to me. But it felt pretty great. I think that's the first time I've really kind of understood the whole liberation of rebellion. I mean, the, fir the first five party members, I didn't really understand it too much, but I think I'm starting to get it. I never thought I'd become part of the Phantom Thieves I was after. Yeah, well, to be fair, how would you expect that? Sis might faint if she found out. Ah, uh, or arrest you. I don't think she cares. You mentioned her earlier. She's a prosecutor for the district, and she's investigating the Phantom Thieves. And in the near future... She'll apparently have this guy arrested, and he'll be recounting the conversation to her. This one right now. So it's all kind of meta right now. Wait, ain't that bad? Oh, it's absolutely horrendous. No need to worry. A normal investigation would never lead them to a world like that. Yeah, definitely not. Then again, it must have been fate for this to happen. What do you mean? I can't be like my sister. And you shouldn't. I had a feeling that there'd come a time when we wouldn't see eye to eye anymore. Probably when she got taller. I'm thankful to have a sister who works so hard, but... There are times I feel sorry for her, too. And after hearing my persona's voice, I clearly understand how I feel now. It appears you're not as reserved as you make yourself seem. I was just doing whatever the adults told me to. Yeah, well, I get the feeling that's not going to be the case anymore. Won't she be perfect as our advisor? She's fearless and has a sharp mind. Plus, she's just freaking awesome. Sounds good to me. We've needed someone like that for a while now. Yeah. I'd be honored if I can help out. Then, bada bum, bada bum, you're part of the group and a frontline fighter. We had way too much testosterone anyway, so I feel much better. Yeah from Kaneshiro. He's reminding us of our debt. Oh, how courteous. So the Kaneshiro over here doesn't know what happened inside the palace. Thank God. That's right. But his palace will be affected if the real Kaneshiro's cognition changes. We can't be lax. So we, 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 we've got three weeks to do this. Seems it'd be best to avoid unnecessary contact with him until then. I mean, I think all contact with him is considered unnecessary. Three weeks left, huh? Eh. No biggie. There's that security system, too. Ah, we'll knock this out of the park in three, four days max. But if we pull this off, it'll definitely be great. For a multitude of reasons. We'll crush him like a fly. I'll make him regret making me angry. Getting a real she hold vibe out of her right now. Anyways, let's begin our operation tomorrow. Well, actually, I was thinking about going to Mementos because we kind of got our asses kicked and we only really managed to escape by pure fluke. First, we need to secure a route to the treasure, like always. You guys are finally starting to get used to this. This is the third time we've done this sort of thing. I'll be waiting for the call to meet up. We should add her to the group chat thingy. Yay! We're friends now! Ha <laughs> ha! Been waiting a long ass time for that. My goodness. Oh. Hello. Damn, motorcycles are cool. Wish my persona was like that. Eh. I mean, he kind of has like a weird hoverboard with the ship it stands on. Yours is on a ship, though. Dude, you kidding? Motorcycles are way cooler than dumb boats. It'll be like. <laughs> it'll be just like that song I'm a phantom on a steel horse I ride. I'll say such things, and for the record, I am most certainly not wanted. Well, I mean, maybe not in the legal sense. <laughs> Honestly, I'm mostly just surprised you know how to ride a motorcycle at all. You got a license? A regular one, yeah. 
Nice. Can't wait to get my hands on one, too. That aside, mind if I change the topic for a moment? Yo, what up? I'm sorry, everyone. I know I'm not in any position to be saying that. I truly do. However, I must apologize. It was my actions that dragged all of you into this mess. On top of that, I misunderstood your true intentions with this. To be fair, you had just as little reason to believe in us as the characters had to believe in you. So, I'd say equal fault all around, nullifies the entire situation, we're on even footing, best friends now. If only I could have realized that what was happening to Suzai soon too. Come on, don't need to talk about that now. Seems like there are still lingering issues on everyone's minds. Now's not the time to be talking about that doo-doo though. Don't we gotta be doing something about Kanashiro? He's right. Very well, I understand. Anyway, I will do my best to make sure I don't slow you all down. I imagine it'll be kind of hard to keep up with you when you're on a damn motorcycle. Well, we were at odds with each other until just a little while ago. Man, maybe we should stop treating people badly. It's almost like having friends and connections is only a good thing. Ryuji's totally right. We need to work together to overcome this. Damn, wish I recorded that for the record book. You just said Ryuji was right about something. Alright. My objective... Nice. Yeah, Makoto seems like she'll make a real reliable advisor. But now we're going to stand up against a real criminal. Stay on your toes, okay? Well, I mean, the other two are real criminals, too. It's just a little bit more, I don't know, white collar, I guess. Well, no, abuse is not white collar. That's just, I don't even know what you would call that. I don't know. I feel like they're all legitimate criminals. Either way. Objective. We desperately need to get to the, the store of which to buy the things. And I need to get to the mementos of which to get the strong. A motorcycle-shaped persona, huh? Apparently. Has a face, too. You know, I can turn into a car, too, so it's like... I feel a sense of familiarity? If you're trying to think that... If you're trying to imply that you yourself are a persona, I kind of doubt it, seeing as how you have a persona. So it's like, I don't, I don't think that works. It's not like a Russian nesting doll. Motorcycles are cooler. You just don't get it. Don't underestimate the power of four-wheel drive. I mean, a motorcycle is unquestionably cooler than a van. Although, the van is also unquestionably more practical. I mean, it can carry everybody and other stuff. If you gotta move, boom, you ain't got no problems there. Then again, if you are the friend with the van, then, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you're probably gonna help a lot of people move. Motorcycles are nice too, but it can't carry large numbers of people. Well, I mean it can, it's just a lot more dangerous. I really am special after all. Huh? You okay there? Carry? No. Take somewhere? What up, kitty cat? Something just crossed my mind. Yeah, I'm thinking about cross tag battle too. And it's no use. I can't remember at all. Yeah, it's pretty far away away. Hmm. Ah, don't worry about uh, it. There's nothing I can do about it if I can't remember. Yeah, man, you're a cat. It's all good. I need to concentrate on Kaneshiro for now. Yee. Unlike you guys, Makoto's clever, so we can expect great things from her. You are like the captain of the 180 degree boat. Like, holy hell. We can't trust her. She's evil. Oh, wait, no. Now she's on our side. That means she's probably the best one of us all. Ha ha ha. Ah, yes. Like, dude. But man... You really do have something special. I really don't. In fact, it's my overwhelming genericness that's allowing me to amass such a powerful entourage. Yeah, no. Definitely coincidental. Looks like I better step up my game, too. Might have to put you back in the team roster, too. As much as I don't like the idea of just having an entire teammate dedicated to just healing, I think with the way I've been going about my, you know... <laughs> a gameplay as of up to this point, I feel like it might be a necessary evil. I feel like my bond with Morgana is growing deeper. Okay, cool. Kitty talk! <laughs> Chance to step in after Shannon Goshi Mills allow me for a retry. Kitty right. talk! Okay, I don't know how that works, but I'm fine with it. I know. After we deal with Kaneshiro, I should consult her about mementos too. Dude, we're going to mementos first. I need to train. I'm sure Makoto's brain can... Oh, I'm napping. Hello? I'm napping! Leave me alone. <sighs> Let me be tired. We got Yusuke, and now Makoto. This guy has quite the luck. 
What, you think Ryuji and Ana aren't worthy of being brought up? Could there be some reason for it? Could he be... a video game protagonist? Nah, that can't be. <laughs> that would be silly. Our lives a video game? What would be the odds? I mean, it's not like real life where everything's incredibly boring. But um bump People on the internet seem to think that their opinions matter. Well, they don't. Good morning. Hello, pretty lady. I'm not good with the, the, the talkie. I've been thinking a lot about personas and palaces since yesterday. It's a lot to digest. Don't worry, you, you, you've got time. That floating bank really reflects Kanashiro's personality. He's flying around so no one can trace his steps. Doesn't trust anyone. But security's tight in there, too. That's why we should get moving soon. Uh, why don't we go to the palace today? Uh, I really think we need to go to Mementos and just train. Understood. I'm sure you have your reasons as the leader. I, th I need to make sure that I've got a good system, I've got some good personas in my, in my pockets, and we all need to be a little bit stronger just to make sure that everything works out okay. I'll leave my schedule open after school, so talk to me anytime. I will do this. For multiple reasons! Look, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure if this game is like the last game and we get the equal number amount of gendered characters, then, like, I realize there's going to be more girl characters getting up in this game, in the team. But I'm, like I said, man, bar's been, bar has been raised. This is like if, this is like if Naoto was the first character we got introduced to. Although we did see her significantly earlier. She just, she was the last one to join. You get, you get my point. Anyway, I'm sorry for asking you here like this. No, oh, no, it isn't a problem. I actually find it refreshing to be asked to the student council room. Although it's somewhat nerve-wracking as well. I think I'm a bit nervous myself. What up? Anyway, um, I wanted to apologize. I'm really sorry for everything. Ah, clearing the air. That's, okay, there we go. There's the, there's the positive qualities of On shining through again. You know how I blamed you for Kamashita's sexual harassment? Well, I, I wanted to apologize for that. I've honestly been meaning to this whole time. Takamaki-san. I realized later that Shiho was calling out for me, and I wasn't there to help her. I didn't want to admit my own guilt, so I took it out on you. I'm very sorry. Hey, there's no need for that. In fact, I think the two of us are pretty similar. <laughs> eh? What? You mean like in the sense that we're grade-A waifus? Well, I mean, yeah, but also, I was unable to save anyone. Not Suzu-san, and not any of Kanashiro's victims. I kept telling myself I was at fault because I was simply following good orders. But that was all a lie. I felt like I would be admitting my own worthlessness had I not shifted the blame off of myself. I fear of that worthlessness was probably why I act so harshly toward you and your friends. I'm deeply sorry as well. It all equalizes. We all said and did things we regret. Yes, call it even. Even? <laughs> You're right. How about we leave this conversation in the past? Yay, friendship! Also, you actually have another female <laughs> in the group to talk to, so that's nice. Oh, but one more thing. You're not worthless. Not even remotely. You're a bit reckless, but you're the reason we found a way into Kanashiro's palace. And you even obtained the power to change people's hearts. You did that all yourself. <sighs> that way of thinking is very much like you, Tamaki. Takamaki. Ugh. When you confronted me about Suzuzan, I realized how dishonest and small I was. Well, I mean, you're a little short, but that's nothing bad. You're always very direct. That's what helped me finally realize the error of my ways. Wait, sometimes I guess you just need a verbal smack in the head. Turns out I'm a little slow on the uptake at times. Hey, can I call you on... Ditching formalities? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the same, M -M Makoto. <laughs> that's so embarrassing. It's so second nature to people in America that, that you know, using first names, if, if anything, referring to people by their last names is really quite rare. How about we get something to eat before we go home for the night? Yay, friendship! Oh, it's a, it's a crepe! Crepe Suzette! Uh, yay! Half on half! 
Yay! Friendship and stuff! I am happy about that. And now the mood is going to be brought down thanks to probably getting asked some sort of question. Oh wait, nope, we're just getting our pants dinging. I realize this is a mite late, but how shall I refer to you, Nij Nijabasan? I believe some courtesy should be shown to those who are our senior. Oh dang, she's older than us? Oh yeah, they've been calling her senpai. Oh yeah, should we call you Nijima-san or like Nijima-senpai? No need to be formal, just treat me the same you would anyone else. We are honored. Ain't that too formal? Shut up. I'm schmoozing. I already just call her by name. For real? Did something happen? Ah, it's a secret between us girls. Damn it, that sounds like fun. Okay, now get your head out of the gutter. All of you may call me by my first name. No need to hesitate. Very well, I shall do just that. Good. It's probably what I was gonna do anyway. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. I think you need to be raised with honorifics for that sort of stuff to become actually like a thing. Okay. Our next target is a criminal one that even the police can't handle. We'll take care of him and leave the world speechless. Yeah, I know. We've got the deadline. Mission start! Oop. Confidant relationships. Powerful personas are necessary to gain the upper hand in battle. Different personas will grow stronger with each confidant relationship. Additionally, your confidants will learn unique abilities as your bonds grow. Be sure to spend the time to build up those special relationships. Well, yeah, I have every intention of doing just that. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, a different response. Let's see. This isn't actually a request from the fan side, but a personal one. Mm -hmm. The truth is, a younger student came to console with me about something the other day. It sounds like he's getting blackmailed at his job by the store manager. The manager? Yeah. From what he told me, money went missing from the register he was supposed to be in charge of. As such, he's been falsely accused of stealing money from the store. Yeah, it happens far more often than you'd think. And now the manager's making him pay back the full amount. It's 50,000 yen. That's a lot of money for somebody who doesn't have a steady source of income like us. Yeah, this guy is like the most honest person I know. There's no way he'd steal all that money. And, well, I did some research into the store online. According to some rumors, the manager might be the one stealing the money. I mean, obviously. He's the only person who checks the registers, after all. On top of that, some other stuff... Uh, some other staff members saw him taking cash out when he was calculating totals. Anyway, the guy's name seems to be Nozami Odo. I found it out when I looked into the store. Please, you gotta help the student. Hmm. The manager himself is taking the money and then blackmailing the kid to pay him for it. That's a dirty trick. Let's talk about it at the hideout. Can do. As much as I would absolutely love to advance the, uh, the confidant link here... And I, I, I very much would like to. I'm gonna have to decide later, okay? We have to... We have to go about this pretty intelligently. Okay. The fact of the matter is, the faster that I take care... Oh, I can up with on. Uh, okay, well, that's not even enough, but I can up with Ryuji! Oh, my God. Why? Actually, where the... That was... Okay, now that I think about it. Also, there's... Mak okay, Makoto's there, but we don't have anything with that. Okay. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Alright, first things first, we gotta go to the airsoft shop. I might be brave enough to talk to him about the gun in a bag, but I'm not going to, because I'm actually here strictly for business. You again? You gonna try and sell me something weird? Nay. The modified model gun would be a powerful weapon to use against brothers and stuff. We should ask him, don't freak out, just ask him. I could ask him if I had dauntless guts. Come on. Okay, still not brave enough. Fine and dandy, didn't okay. want to start that up anyway. Okay, let's good. see. Do, 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 do. So we've got this. That's a 90 to 122. Although I do mind. not have much money. I do not have much money at all. So, right, which one? what we should do is invest in choosing, giving Makoto the best possible equipment that we can get her for now. Apparently she all deals right. with revolvers. Dope. That's good. Okay, I don't suppose I've got anything that I can sell. Okay. Oh, yeah, I've got stuff. Okay, not a lot of stuff, but I've got stuff. Okay. Uh, don't need either of those. I guess that's fine. Don't need this either. I, I, I think. Hang on, that's 134. Hang on! I'm not right. I'm not gonna sell something if I if it turns out like I All actually right, have something one? better there. Alright, uh... Okay, so wait, hang on. Goat Leather Whip is 90. That's 110. Okay, so then, yeah, that's a very good... Okay, good thing I checked. Good thing I Oops. checked. Uh, uh, a better ranged weapon would be nice, but I'd actually prefer to invest in some good armor. She's currently wearing a turtleneck! 
Not the greatest of defenses against the claws and the fire and the burning and the everything. Ouchie. Alright. Let's see. I've already got, like, some accessories. I can give her something that we've got here. Hang on. Let's see. Well, first of all, go leather whip. Replace that with the whip sword. Freaking Ivy from Soul Calibur up in here. Don't mind if I do. Okay, let's see. So, accessory. She's got black tights, and that's all well and good. But let's do something. Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's go with Null Forget. There we go. An outfit. I will be sure to check all that nonsense out at a later point. In fact, I'll probably do it pretty soon, actually, but just not on camera. Okay, so that's that. Um, is our hideout still in broad daylight? Yes, it is. All right. As much as I would like to up all them social links and what have you, it's best to get this, you know, the the plot critical stuff out of the way, then we can just spend the rest of our time up in confidants like no tomorrow without having to worry about, you know, wasting time. That's just the way I do things. I'm sure some sort of official strategy guide would be all like, nah, you gotta do things everything perfectly if you want to get every single confidant up to rank 10 all in the same playthrough. I don't think I'd be able to do that even with a guide, so don't be expecting that. I never imagined that I would end up helping the Phantom Thieves. Things would get interesting if my sister ever found out. Yeah, probably shouldn't let her do that. Anyway, no time to be getting sentimental. Yes. yes. I understand. I do have one request about all of this, though. Can you teach me how to be a Phantom Thief? Like, about the metaverse, for example? Well... Simply put, that world is formed of a, pre of a person's cognition. There, you can change people's hearts. Yeah, I've gathered that much just from going there. <laughs> But the method of transportation still eludes me. I mean, it's a smartphone navigation app. You only need a name, a location, and a distortion. After the first entry, the palace is bookmarked. You really just make it sound like an ordinary app. Aren't there any dangers associated with it? <laughs> Probably. We've never thought about it. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We've already been a bunch of times and... That's not what I mean. Is... It's a navigation app, right? Couldn't someone easily access our history on the server? Ha! <laughs> hey! Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Has nobody thought of this before? Uh, um... Yeah, I'm gonna be kind of honest with you. We've just kind of been... winging it. Now she's catching me off guard, too. And we don't know where it came from, right? It showed up on my phone without any input from me. Yeah, that's how it works for everyone. Hey! Do you know anything about it? Uh... A long-nosed man. Mm -hmm. What? I want to tell her the truth, but it's tough to explain that Igor has been sending out the app. I don't really know how. I feel I don't see how the Velvet Room is any less confusing or unbelievable as everything else has been going on. I don't fully understand, but I don't think we have to worry about people accessing our data. Nice. Oh man, if so, could you imagine the data plan we'd have to have in order to get this sort of thing? The expenses would be huge. From what I could tell, this app is incredibly special. It wasn't made by any ordinary means. True, an app that allows you to enter another world isn't exactly commonplace. You ain't gonna be finding that on the App Store. Well, Sis doesn't know who the Phantom Thieves are, so I suppose our information is safe for now. We're still learning things ourselves. I hope your sharp wit can help us with that. Yes. Thank you. I'll do my best. Well, then. So, what's our time limit this time? I doubt we have much time to spare at this point. Um... Kanashiro's henchman said the deadline is July 9th. <sighs> There's no way high schoolers could bring in 3 million yen. Well, I mean, there are ways, but not ways we're going to be taking use of. And that's why he's threatening us. If we can't pay, he'll do much worse than just blackmail. <laughs> For now, we need to stop him from releasing those photos. The public got a hold of them. Oh, that's just sleazy as all hell. I can only imagine what would happen then. Come on, we just gotta take care of him before the time limit. We'll bounce back from this. Let's crush Plus, people really start admiring us if we can manage to take this guy down. Yeah, this is the perfect opportunity. We have to succeed no matter what. Yeah, the fact that we're gonna have to, like, you know, actually go into Mementos first, it's kind of funny. Anyway, well then, we have some new intel on a Mementos target today. We'll start with this one first. Uh, apparently the Phantom Thieves inspired a larceny group that steals from shops in Shibuya, the albums from before. On top of that, it seems their leader has been physically abusing his younger brother. We can't let these people go tarnish go around tarnishing the Phantom Thieves' name. That's hard to agree. I must agree. Even more so if we are being asked for help. Let's put a stop to this madness. I'm on board. I'm for doing this too. Need to trigger a change of heart. That's not at all. Now on to the next Listen target. Up. The intel is on a heinous convenience store manager. 
a combination of words you do not hear often. Not only does he steal money from the register, but he gets away by claiming the part-timers for it. He probably just wants, does whatever he wants because he owns the store. Okay. Let's take him down. Even though he owns the place, it's damn clear what's right and what's wrong. Mm-hmm. That's unforgivable. We're gonna do this no matter what. No objections, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. We're good to go. If you're okay with it, that's a unanimous decision. All that's left now is to take the target of Mementos. Furry getting sweet. Ooh, we got our first D rank. Dang. All right. Well, yeah, we're definitely going into Mementos. Hey. Shouldn't we be working on the change of heart first? Yeah, well, I guess it's fine. Okay. For a second there, I thought they weren't going to let me. Let us go. <laughs> and that would have been really, really bad. All right, I've got myself some SP items, so I should be able to last a decently long amount of time in here. Okay, let's do this. I'm also gonna have no to. Slacking. Indeed, I'll also have to do some, uh, I guess, what you calls it, uh, testings for group compensation, group composition and stuff. I take a look just very carefully. All right, hang on. I didn't show this with everyone else, so I guess I'll show it with you. Why not? Okay, we'll show the kind of costumes that we are working with here. Alright, so we've got standard summer uniform. Yeah, that's the outfit we've been seeing a lot. Not bad. I definitely prefer something more casual than a school uniform, though. Winter uniform is basically the same thing, but with, like, a jacket. Yeah, like that. Although it does look very nice on you. Uh, oh, that's the... Why, why would I do that? Okay, then... What else do we got? We've got summer clothes. Casual wear. Oh, that's quite nice. Very stylish. Okay. Then, what we've got is casual winter clothes. That's also good. A bit too formal. We like to keep things, you know, lax up in here. But then again, I mean, it's designed for warmth. Either way. And then we got the swimsuit. And telling you, we're right here right now. Not going with that one, but got to look through all of them, I guess. Huh. More revealing than I would have expected from her. You do you, girl. I'm glad you got that self-confidence in your body image. All right, so then we got the maid uniform. Doubt it. Yeah, that just looks silly. I mean, Morgana can pull it off, but, you know, he's a cat. So, like, <laughs> he doesn't get a choice. <laughs> and Christmas outfits. Oh, dang. Kind of getting a... Kind of getting a Ruby Rose vibe out of that one, personally. Okay, you know what? That's actually not bad. Although, you know what? That does remind me. Morgana, you've been a maid for long enough. Please be an adorable little snowman. There we go. Oh, that's adorable. Okay. Anyway, uh, I doubt we're actually going to keep that one. But that's actually a lot cooler than a Christmas outfit has any right to. I think I'll just go with um, the summer clothes. I should consider possibly getting some of those DLC outfits, see if any of those are pretty cool. Either way, I'm going to be diving headfirst into the Maw of Madness and uh, getting myself a little bit stronger. Don't worry, I won't be taking care of any of those Mementos missions. I'll be sure to show those in their entirety on screen, and we'll get a lovely, you know, fast-forward montage of my training and stuff. So, uh, yeah, don't worry about it. It's going to be a grand old time. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. You'll never see it come back.